Hey guys, Jared here with Corbin's Archery, Seminole, Texas. We are going to run down the Ventum 33, the V331, and then we're also gonna bring in the Ventum 30 and the V327. Um, we're gonna run these bows through the chronograph. We're gonna make two shots with each one of them, 430 grain arrow and a 480 grain arrow. We've got all the bows set up at 28 inches and 70 pounds. Um, we're gonna run these bows head to head and we'll give you a little bit of feedback. We're gonna start off by shooting the Ventum 33 and then go into the, uh, the Matthews V3 31 and then we'll go back to a Hoyt Ventum 30 and then lastly we'll shoot the Matthews V3 27. Stick around, this is gonna be fun. We got 280 feet per second with a 430 grain arrow, 28 inches, 70 pounds. Next up, we've got the 480 grain arrow. Again, 28 inches, 70 pounds. Two hundred and sixty-three feet per second. We got the V3 here, 31 with a 430 grain arrow. Again, all these bows are set at 28 inches and 70 pounds. Two seventy four. Next up, we've got the uh, four, 480 grain arrow again. 28 inches, 70 pounds. Two fifty eight. Two seventy seven out of that. Two sixty one. And lastly, guys, in this little comparison test, we've got the uh, V three twenty seven, twenty eight inches, seventy pounds. 430 grain arrow. And 480 grain arrow, 28 inches, 70 pounds. Guys, we just got done shooting these new headliner bows for 2021 from Hoyt and Matthews, running them head to head. Uh, we did some sp speed comparison. I wanna take a second just to talk about the two bows, uh, the two companies a little bit. Um, first off, I wanna thank them for both putting out a good product this year. We're extremely proud of both of these bows and the way that they've performed. First off, I want to talk about the speeds that we're getting out of these bows. Both these bows putting out tremendous speeds, over 270 feet per second 
with a 430 grain arrow at 28 inches and 70 pounds. That's, that's really incredible. The draw cycle on both of these bows is extremely well. You can see that both of them have oversized cams, making them really comfortable. Brace heights are very similar, which means they're gonna have about the same power stroke, axle to axle length. I mean, you can line these two bows up, axle to axle, and they are, I mean, you can see the difference. Obviously, one's a 31 and one's a 33 inch axle to axle, but the riser links is what's really cool. Matthews with this really parallel limb, long riser, whereas Hoyt, not quite so parallel, a little shorter riser. But both of them feel extremely dead in the hand. It's really gonna be about preference for any bow that you'd pick up this year for 2021. Can't really say enough good things about both of these bows. You're just gonna have to come in and shoot them for yourselves. Come out Corbin Archery, Seminole, Texas. Can't wait to see y'all.